in that experience of surrender, I opened an invisible door and I invited in a presence far greater than myself to restore me to sanity, to bring me back to the light, to guide me and lead me to all of the reasons. Last night, my team and I decided to create a 21 day meditation challenge for you. We felt that people were ready to connect and feel supported in a bigger way. So this is happening, it's coming. But what I want to hear from you is what would you want to get out of that? So I'm working on creating this challenge for you, but I want to do it with your input. What would you want most to get out of my 21 day meditation challenge? It's coming soon, but I want to make sure that I really give you exactly what you want. So if you could answer that question right here, that would really help inspire me to create this entire 21 day plan to really respond to the need that's out there right now. So let me know, what would you want to get out of this? Oh yes, this is definitely coming. I'm, I'm going to record a walking meditation for the challenge starting now. Guys, just, just be patient. We're working on getting it all together, but this is coming. Yep, yep. I am recording a sleep meditation this weekend that will go into the challenge. Yes, love this. The goal of the challenge is to meet people where they are. So whether you meditated for the last 30 years or you've never meditated before, this challenge will help you deepen your meditation practice. Oh my God, I'm getting really excited. Thank you guys for your feedback. That is my number one priority to help you guys feel less anxious and to give you the meditation challenge to help you through this time and to make sure that we gather, that we feel that there's a virtual hug that we're going to get from this. So I'm working on it. Yes, 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 I've got your back. I'm looking through recipe books to see what I want to teach you to make tonight. You know, normally I don't use recipes, but I, I'm not willing to not like what I make right now. So I'm gonna, but I might make a minestrone soup, which I don't use a recipe for, so I can just show you how I do it. Uh, and my mantra today is, Hold on, let me cut, let me let it come. It's coming. Hang on. I'm not sure if I've used this one yet, but I like it for right now. I'm open to creative solutions. I just wrote this book and there's a whole chapter on living that message about being open to creative solutions. I want that to be our mantra tonight. And then I was just looking at my, this is the universe. This is a super attractor journal that Michaela designed with me. She designed it, I wrote the messages. Each time I choose to tune into spirit, guidance of the highest truth shows up for me. That was just sitting here because Ollie draws in this. Let's see if there's another one. True, manifesting, true manifestations are powered by service and love. Okay. But my mantra for my cooking tonight is I'm open to creative solutions. I'm making chicken in the pressure cooker with honey and sesame, and normally I don't eat honey, but uh, I'm gonna use some manuka honey, which is very, very good for you, and not part of my typical diet, but I'm going for it now. Anything goes right now, people. And um, so you start by sauteing the garlic and the onions in the on the saute button of your Instant Pot, add some salt and pepper. It's two cloves of garlic, and I did half an onion, and then you're gonna throw in some soy sauce and some sesame oil. I use the liquid aminos. And then you throw in your chicken and some honey. I'll, I'll keep it going. So I've got this on poultry, really just high pressure for 10 minutes. And this just once again, it had, I used a sugar-free, I got not a sugar-free, but a no sugar ketchup tamari a little bit of sesame oil i'll show it to you when it's done i'm really bad at recipes guys but i am following a recipe again from nicole's kimchi rice so we got garlic i added i added broccoli to it onion uh carrots and and ginger and we heat that up in some butter and then you throw some some rice in there with a little bit of tamari and sesame oil. I don't have green onions, sadly, but we're gonna do what we gotta do. Chicken is so good. I have the hiccups. 
Uh, okay, so then I've got my rice, my rice in the rice in the rice cooker, and all the veggies waiting for the rice. The rice is amazing. You throw the rice on top, and then you put a teaspoon of sesame oil, and you can use tamari, or you can use amino acids, or you can use sesame, uh, soy sauce. I have the hiccups. All right.